Welcome back, everybody. Let's continue along our way. We need to report back to Tiber. Give him the unfortunate news that his brother has met the Grizzly and Chillac. How will he ever tell Mother? Should have stopped with this stupid idea. Such a waste. He says that we might keep the damn sword. It's been more of a curse than anything else. Yes, I'm sorry for your loss, Tiber. But nevertheless, we must press on. She here is still finding it hard to get out of this webbed glade here. There we go. The spell has ended. Let's continue somewhere to the north, and we will find the next part of this cloakwood. Another trap. Alright. At least there's no spiders around. Famous last words. Alright. We've come to the end here, actually. So we just have to wait for Imwin, of course. Struggling to free herself. She's really quite vulnerable now. Hopefully no Ettercaps come wandering along. But once she has freed herself, we shall continue on to the next area of the Cookwood. Hopefully we find what we're looking for. I've done had enough of this. Let's quickly save. We can't because of the web, I guess. And onwards. You have been waylaid by enemies. Waylaid and by must a wyvern and some spiders. All right. Well, hmm. A simple run. task. Some more wyverns. Let's go for run. Oh dear. It's not gonna end well for you here. I think. Where'd she go? <laughs> so we can get her over to where I can maybe get rid of that poison. Yeah, let's get out. Phew, that was close. But we made it. Alright, let's try and heal up a bit before we continue on. No better than to cut my luck. Make sure everyone is as close to good health as possible. We've actually been traveling for quite a while, haven't we? Ten hours from one area to the next. Perhaps it'll be time to rest soon, actually. Maybe after we dispatch this cave bear, I think that corn can use his arrows for this. Very quickly running out though. Bears no more. You hear it leveled up. Ooh, actually Zan leveled up earlier too. Escaped my notice. Alright, let's see. So our druid powers have increased. Zan probably has some more mage spells to cast. Excellent. Let's actually give him some identify spells so that he can tell us what exactly we're hauling around. Certainly want some mirror images, and we can't quite cast level 3 spells yet. Let's see what Jahira has access to now. More healing spells, always good. And perhaps another slow poison effect. Still no level 3 priestly spells. And I still have no spells either, so it'll be a while, I think, before we do. And Emmelin will give her a sleep spell. And that just about covers it. Maybe now is a good time to rest. So try and make camp here. We awaken in a cold sweat. Horrified to see a huge insect bearing down. Eight legs and multiple eyes betray its identity. A giant spider. There's three of them. Huge spiders. Who's that over there? Held off. Do you see, not see the spiders over here, man? Give us a hand if you don't mind. If you want. Since our rest was disturbed, we haven't actually recovered any spells. So, we'll have to make do with what we have. Try and cut them down as we can. Oh, well, someone just took that one out in the hurry. One remains. There we go. Let's talk to this Eldoth fellow. It reminds me of Garrick, who he turned away. Gentlemen, gentle women, may I introduce myself? I am Eldoth Kron. Hmm. Well, we were planning to rest. 
Gonna treat us to some refreshments, some Berduskin Ember Wine. We are kind of thirsty right now, I guess. Oh, oh dear. Didn't really know we were thirsty for a tale such as this. Probably wondering why he's being so generous. Hmm. There's a girl, his lover, in fact, who desires to escape her father and live on her own. Entar Silvershield, one of the Dukes of Baldur's Gate. Hmm. It seems that she is being kept against her wishes, perhaps, from the tyrannical clutches of Entar. Hmm. He offers to help us with whatever we're doing now until we decide to head up to Baldur's Gate. Let's see. Don't really approve, I think, of this this man's quest here. Seems like he's trying to seduce a rather wealthy man's daughter and then abduct her. And then oh, I kinda missed this earlier. It says he wants to blackmail her father for hordes of cash. Alright then. Uh, that makes it easy. Are you always the slimy, or is this one of your better days? Go find someone else to help you in your worthless schemes. Alright, well. Kind of missed that first part about the blackmailing, so I'm trying not to skim over so much before the next time we meet another Eldoth. Let's, uh, let's leave him behind a little bit before we rest. A bit dubious of setting up camp right next to him, so perhaps by the stream. Perfect timing. So let's quickly I rest. Oh god. Castle this time. Can we not catch a moment's peace? I guess we'll just try and cut them down as best we can. Zan, can you enjoy him fight? Unfortunately, none of them have any arrows. It'd be quite a welcome sight. Save again and try. For a third time. Maybe we successfully, successfully rested. Quickly heal. Make sure everything's all here. That Eldoth didn't come snooping during the night. All right, so we have a wand, a ring. Anything else that needs identification? Not really seeing anything. Ooh, the cloak. That might be useful. But what to identify? Let's try this first ring that we recovered from Sanayad. It's a ring of animal friendship. The Druid's ring. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Charm animal unless they save versus wand effects. Affects one animal for quite a while. Alright, well, if it's a ring of the druids, I guess I can pass that off to uh, Jahira. And then who shall make use of her ring here? Khalid's armor class is already impressively low, so let's give that off to our good friend Corin actually. I hope we find some more arrows, please. He's definitely much more effective Your at a distance. Path. And we shall continue on. In the dead of night. Creeping about. Let's see if we can find a bridge to cross over this stream here. Here we have one. Let's be careful now. As we make our way across. What horrors await us on the other side? It would be good for you to terrain. watch your actions while in this wood. Lascal. Commands us to stop, so you might parlay with us a moment. Who are you? What is it that you want with us? He is the protector of the Cloakwood. He is a message for those that serve the Iron Throne. He asks if we are representative of that organization. We have no connection to that evil group. We are sworn enemies of the Iron Throne. An enemy of an enemy is his friend. He was just testing us. So since we also oppose the organization, which has been a blight on these woods ever since they reopened the ancient Dwarven mine, he is glad to know that he gives us something to aid us against the Iron Throne. Their fort is located to the east. Huh. A potion of invulnerability. Well, thank you, Lascal. At least I think that's what he gave us. Certainly. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Turns out he did. Just not that particular potion. All right. So there we have it. He said that they lie to the east. 
So perhaps somewhere here. I guess we'll have to get to the bottom of that in the next video. I'll see you soon.